Hey everyone, do you really think it's possible to make a better ruler than this Australian made ruler made out of recycled materials? I don't know, but maybe if you added some electronics and some fancy lights. Today I'm taking a look at the Neo Ruler by Hozo Design. They sent it to me, so I'm doing a review. The Neo Ruler comes in a box, so I unboxed it. Inside the box, you'll find a case. It opens up to reveal the Neo Ruler. Hozo Design sent me the premium combo kit, so it includes the calipers and a couple of the other attachments. It's rechargeable, so it comes with a USB-C cord to plug it in. I'm really excited to try out the caliper system, but for now I'm going to transform it back into standard Neo Ruler setup. At first I was a bit confused why the pretty blue lights weren't lining up with the tab on the slider. Then I realized that's because I was still in caliper mode and it was accounting for the extra width of the caliper. I pressed a button a bunch of times until I got to the settings menu. Then I changed it from caliper mode into ruler mode. That flipped the screen upside down and told me to move the slider to calibrate it. So I did. Nothing really happened, so I picked a button and pressed it, flipped it around so it would be right side up, and randomly pressed a bunch more buttons just trying to get something to happen. There we go. I got my blue lights back. You can easily cycle through the different units of measurements as seen here. I'm really happy they included inches with fractions because I just don't understand inches and decimals. If you want base 10, just go metric. One thing I really like is that you can zero the ruler at any point. That means you can measure from either end of the ruler or somewhere in the center. Just watch out because if you accidentally hit the zeroing button twice in a row, it takes you back to the main menu and you have to press a different button to get back to where you were. So how does it work for actually measuring something? Well, kind of the same as a ruler. One thing I'm a little bit sad about is there's no way to measure right from the end of the ruler. So if you need to measure from the neck guard of a Roman helmet to the letter G, it's not gonna give you the right number. To be fair, the Australian ruler has the exact same problem because the scale doesn't start at the end of the ruler. If the gap at the end of that ruler is a nice round number like 10 millimeters, it could still be fine. 11.2. Hmm. And the other end, 13.9. That's not super handy. What is super handy is this feature, the division feature. It allows you to equally divide your measured length between 2 and 12 segments. So say you're making a snow skate and want to make sure all your screws are lined up straight down the center. Well all of a sudden it's super quick and you don't need to do any math. For my life and what I do this has got to be the handiest feature on this ruler. Evenly spaced rivets? Not a problem. And I can't imagine how much time I would have saved on my Indiana Jones whip had I had this ruler back then. The Neo Ruler also has a scaling feature with a bunch of preset scales, which could be really handy if you're an architect with a scale drawing of a house that you need to figure out what its actual size is. For example, if this architectural drawing was in a 1 to 72 scale, the main section of the house would be 17 feet 8 inches wide and the five foot one person would be entering their house through a four foot nine inch door. I don't see any problems there. And I can hear you all thinking, what if I don't want to use one of the preset scales? Cause I'm a rebel. Well, you can also set your own scale of whatever you want. It's a bit of a hassle, but as we all know, rebels love hassles. There you go, one to 1,439 scale. Well, that's all pretty exciting, but what I really want to try out are the calipers. I use calipers a lot when I'm designing patterns. They're just a super handy tool. It's a quick transition from ruler to calipers, though sometimes sliding the caliper onto that slider can be a little finicky. Remember to switch to caliper mode and we're good to go. I'm not super impressed by how it slides. At this price point, I feel like this should be buttery smooth, but it's just average. Here, have a listen. You can adjust the amount of friction by tightening or loosening the thumb screw at the top. In theory, you should be able to tighten that thumb screw at the top enough to lock the slider in place. 
However, this is me tightening that knob as much as I dare, and yet I can still push the slider. Which means I'll have to be just that little bit more careful when I'm using the calipers to mark a line parallel to an edge, because I'm actually putting some pressure against that sliding caliper in this situation. What I do love is the nice big digital readout on these calipers. My eyes are getting older because I'm getting older, and I find it really hard to read the little markings on my other calipers. The other great thing is they are a lot longer than my other calipers. The jaws expand to a whopping 27 centimeters. That's pretty handy. One feature that is notably missing is the stick that comes out the end of the caliper. I use that feature a lot for measuring in places that the regular calipers can't reach, so I'm sad it's missing that. Also notable is that the jaws are quite short, which limits you a bit in what you can measure. I will note that the division feature still works perfectly in caliper mode, which makes me very happy. Now, because I'm just not satisfied with how things are, I decided to make my own accoutrements for the Neo Ruler. I designed some caliper socks in Tinkercad that could just slip over the existing calipers. I printed them in my bathroom and jammed them on. Now we're talking. Now if I want to know how big my head is, or how much bigger my helmet is than my head, no problem. I also made another attachment with one of the socks a little longer than the other and the other one having a scoring wheel on it. This way I can mark perfect parallel lines with no hassles. Okay, Neo Ruler wrap up. One thing I will say before I say anything else is that this will definitely be living in my drawer and I will be using it quite often for when I'm designing patterns. It's gonna be really helpful for that. Is it a necessary tool? Not really, but it is a fun tool. Mostly I'll just be using it as a standard digital caliper, although the one feature that I do really, really love and I will be using is the division feature. You can't get that on a standard caliper. And just the ability to quickly be able to section something into a certain number of segments is really handy. I like that it has a screen so I could just see the numbers instead of having to squint at little ruler numbers. And I also like the fact that you can zero it anywhere so you can measure from anywhere you want. You don't have to start at the end of the ruler. I do like that the calipers come on and off quickly and easily, that is really handy. It also has a nice little rubbery strip on the back here I forgot to mention that makes it feel really good when it's in ruler mode and it's sitting on a table. It's also nice and big, so that's pretty handy. Some of the things that could definitely be improved are the like vibe you get when you slide it. It just doesn't feel consistent and smooth. Whereas on a premium instrument like this, I would expect that to be just like buttery smooth goodness. Also the locking knob doesn't actually fully lock it. You can still move it even when that's tightened down. That's kind of not okay. I didn't find the buttons on here very, um, what's the word of like where it makes sense to your mind when you should push them? Intuitive. I did not find them very intuitive. Although it did help when I finally realized that this button is not a play button, it's a go back button. I think they could have added one more button, maybe just one for just zeroing it, because if you press the zero button twice, you end up back in the main menu. Also, anytime you're selecting something from a bunch of different options, you have to scroll all the way through to get back to the start. There's no way to go forwards and backwards. You're just always going in one direction. So you're cycling around and around. If you go past, you got to go all the way around again. And then you'll probably go past by one again and then have to go all the way around again. And that might happen three or four times in a row before you finally stop on the right one, if you're me. And of course, the measuring from the end of the ruler, I mentioned that in the video, how that doesn't really work. And I'm sure that would be a simple firmware update. All they would need to do is add another setting for measuring from the end that could automatically add that random amount into the brain of the ruler so that it tells you the right number. As well, the caliper jaws aren't very long, although I did fix that by adding my own extra long calipers, although they're not like 100% perfect because they wiggle a little bit, so you gotta be a little gentle and make sure they're set up right, but I'm definitely gonna use them. They're definitely gonna be helpful. You'll notice I didn't get around to mentioning the other little add-on end things. Um, because I never used them. Two of them are for putting a pen in so that your pen goes along with the ruler and one is a little magnifying glass so you can see where your ruler is a little better. Probably again, if I was an architect, I would use them, but I'm not. And also they only work with fairly fine tip pencils or pens. So yeah, I just drew my lines with a ruler. So at the end of the day for making costumes, this is handy, but you could probably just get away with a pair of digital calipers. However, if you are an architect who also makes costumes, 
I'd say this would be a really great thing to have because it does lots of architect type things as well as some really handy costume type things. Also, I should mention that Hozo Design sent me the Neo Ruler to review. However, they're not paying me to make this video. And of course, I'll include their links in the description if you want to get one of these for yourself. And I think that about wraps it up for the Neo Ruler. Thanks for watching. See ya.